I'm gonna plant my book in Goodwill. Who knows, maybe I'll put something special in it. Mmm, yummy. I'm sitting here eating lunch, and I'm watching my, one of my favorite shows. Weeds, you guys ever see It's the first season. But my friend Romani Malco plays in it, and uh, I think he's really funny in it. Weeds is awesome, so I'm getting ready to go and do a full review on this camera that I'm using, that I'm shooting with my new vlog cam, and compared to the old one, and I'm going to do some shopping, so let's see what we get into. I'm heading to the studio. We're vlogging with the new camera, the new vlog cam. I have to find a really, um, like, weird, stupid, crazy gift for my friend when I go to her house <clears throat> because we're starting this new thing and I think it's gonna be really funny where you find this weird odd gift and I really think that it would be cool. So I have to go somewhere. I don't know, we'll go find something really crazy. Guys, I'm blown away. I'm getting blown away out here. It's actually not too bad. It's like, um, oh, I thought I almost locked my keys in the car. Um, we're in November and uh, it's fairly warm. It's not summer, but it's nice out and one look at this beautiful skies again so i'm looking into places to move and i'm really looking into um somewhere near venice beach california i like that area so if you guys have anything to say about that let me know um that or maybe i'm going back to you know we're gonna go back to florida i don't know we'll see what's up i'm using studio one tree well i don't know how this video is working like if you can see me right now because it's low lighting and usually you know doesn't look that good. So let's turn on some lights. Let's open some doors. See, I'm in this mode, guys, right now. This is my professional video mode. Sometimes I get like that. Um, Got to shake it up. Because I haven't vlogged in a little bit. Guys, it's been so long. But I'm, I'm at Studio One Tree, and, you know, my brother's not here. He's at a wedding. What are you doing, bro? Where are you at? You need to be here. We're back here. See this back here, guys? I'm shooting the review on the new camera that I'm holding right now that you're seeing me on. See this? Yes, love the quality. Um, so I just did a review about my old one. This is the old one, guys. The one that I destroyed. God, that was, that was such an empowering day. You know, like, like really it was. Like, I was sitting there and I was like getting ready to go down the slide of the Devon Super Tramp video shoot for Mountain Dew. And I was like so concerned about hitting the water and like, am I gonna come up in time to catch my breath? I didn't even think about the slide. And before I went down, someone was like, hey, do you want me to hold your camera? And I was like, Psh, hold my camera? I'm a vlogger, no. This camera's built for this. It's waterproof, you know? Hit the slide, I'm sliding down. Soon as I start picking up speed, I freaked out. And I don't remember what I was doing with this camera in my hand. I had it hooked to my wrist. And I was, must have been holding on really tight, like, ah, uh, you know, freaking out, trying to catch my breath. And I was like, okay, I just got to get my breath before, you know, before I hit the water. And then I hit the slope that shoots you straight up in the air. Oh my gosh, was that scary. Hit that. It was so intense. I really wanted to cry, guys. I really was like, oh, what was that? What just happened? <laughs> so I flew up in the air and... All I remember was looking at how high it was, and I was like, holy. And I looked down, I closed my eyes, and I'm like, oh, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm still falling? Really? Still falling. About to hit the water. Still falling? I gotta be hitting the water soon. Still falling. Yes, it was that intense. That's what it was like for me. It was like, oh my gosh. And But then I hit the water. Boom. And I was like, dude, I got the footage. And I come up, and bing bong, this was open. Look at that. This is how I came out. Come up, oh, whoosh, as I put my hand up on the edge of the pool to climb out, and I see this and water just pouring out. And I'm like, oh no. And I look at my lens and there's water in there and in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I got up and I could have been all pissed off. Like, oh man, I broke my camera, guys, it sucks. No, I was like, that was freaking insane. I overcame a fear, a challenge, and I'm at the best place to do it at, a Devon Supertramp video shoot. I get up, I walk over, 
And there is Devin Graham interviewing my dad for the video. He made it in the video. Awesome. Thanks, Devin, for putting my dad in the video. So he's talking, and I walk over to him, and I was like, oh, what's up? He's like, was it good? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Now, before that, when I was climbing out of the pool, I remember Devin was like, you're all right? You're all right? Because I was, like, splashing like a kid that can't swim. Really can't swim. But I'm splashing, you know, and I get up, and I was like, dude, destroyed the camera, but it's all good. Toss it aside. And... Yeah, oh man, it was so, I can't even explain it because like, you know, any other time I probably would have really pissed off that I destroyed a camera, but I was like, you know what, why? Why get so upset over these things? Like, dude, it's replaceable. Go and buy a new one. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about the moments. It's about doing things. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people that hold on to things or like, you know, games or things and they, oh, they don't play them too much because you don't want to destroy it. What's the purpose? Like, when I was a kid, my grandparents had all these cool toys they were like, I guess, antiques, and they were just sitting up on the shelves collecting dust. I'm like, let's play with those things. And they're like, no, no, they're antiques. It's like, why? What's the purpose of even having that then? Take them down, and let's play with the damn things already, you know? And I would break one and get in trouble. There you go. But listen, it's all about having fun with your gear. You know, I got my camera back here. I spent a lot of money on this stuff. You know, I got my H2 recorder, and I, you know, I got my cool bag, and I got all this cool stuff. And I spend money on this stuff and I go out and I use it though. You know what I'm saying? I take care of my stuff, but I use it. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm getting the shot, as long as I get the shot, if something goes crazy wrong, you know, maybe I can do it again as long as everyone's okay. And like, I can buy some more stuff, I guess. I don't know. It's like, but you know, this chip that I recorded the whole, I vlogged the whole Devin Graham event. You heard me say this before, but I vlogged the whole thing. And then I went down the slide and I was so worried that I lost the data. And I didn't lose the data, guys. Like, even this cheapo chip, which actually transcends pretty good. I really like them. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah, I did get another one. Um, maybe not for, you know, the big boy cam, the Canon Rebel T3i, but for this, you want, you know, one of these. So, um, you know, I went down and this thing was wet and I put everything in, the rice and that and the rice, I put it in the, um, freezer. I don't know why that's supposed to work. It doesn't really work, but nothing worked, but I was able to pull the data off. Surprisingly, the one thing that I wish would have came out, the data of me going down the slide, that last clip didn't turn out, of course, because that's when the camera freaked out, but it'd been cool if I had that. So the only footage I have of me actually going down the slide is my dad filmed with his Kodak PlaySport. Yeah, he's got one too of me going down the slide. So it's really cool. And he has actually this camera that I'm filming with now because he got his after I got mine. So he got the new version before me. So you got to see his quality. It's really good. So I really like this camera. Anyways, enough of my stuff. I gotta go do some more vlogging. Guess what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna go right now and we're gonna find one of these little crazy, some stupid gift that's just really silly. The weirdest thing you can buy, people. And I'm gonna give it to my friend. My friend Mary, when I go to her house, I love them. They're awesome, you know, her and her husband and her kids are all like family to me, like extended family. So we go over there and have a good time. So I'm gonna get her a stupid gift. I mean, so ridiculous. Let's see if we can find one. What a better place to go to than like maybe Goodwill or a thrift store. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna find something silly. Come on, there's gotta be something out there. Gotta close everything up so my brother doesn't get all mad. Look at the, look it out there, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get the screen out of the way. It's a beautiful day out, guys. Look at this. God, I love this stuff. I love when the sun's out and the clouds are, well, there's, there they are. You know, I just love that. Oh man, this is what it's all about. This is the view, guys. Like this place right here, my brother turned into a studio, was the first place I, you know, could call my own, really. Um, I moved in here from a small two bedroom apartment and got into here, this little luxury place. And this place, this view right here, um, is what it was all about. Like that view sold, you know, sold me on, on saying, you know, this is where I want to be, this is where I want to move. And all there was was literally that slab. This place wasn't even built. It was slab and mud. And I was like, this is, I'll take it when they build it. And so they built it. And then, um, and then I got married and decided to start a family and moved out. And my brother took over and said, hey, this is the studio. And yeah, we painted that wall leapfrog green. So that's that. But anyways, guys, you know what? This, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, right here. Oh God, this hurts. We know where to go right here. Oh man, that hurts. I got bit by something. I think it was a spider. I think it bit me and then it crawled up my mouth and bit my tongue. God, come on. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, this little thing that I bought, uh, this light link, 
I got it off of Amazon. It was like 20 something. Um, dude, this thing is boom. It's bright. Look at that, guys. Wow. Bright as hell. Um, this thing now over here, let me turn this thing off. It's really nice. It takes a, a rechargeable battery in the back. It's really cool. And uh, this thing right here uh, is pretty cool too. It's called a Megalite. Um, but as you can see, running this for maybe, I ran it for what? 30 minutes, let's just say 30 minutes doing my review and it was fully charged and it's already dead. Um, it doesn't stay lit as long. But what's cool about this thing is, you know, it folds up. You know what I'm saying? And boom, you know, boom. It's kind of cool, you know? It's probably, you know, obviously you use it for like, they advertise it for using around your car if you need to work on things. Cause it's, you know, like I said, it's got that little hook that retracts. Anyways, I'm not doing a review on this, but this thing's okay. Rechargeable battery built in. But this thing for my camera, actually, this one actually got warm. They aren't supposed to get warm. That's actually warm. I don't know if those are supposed to get warm. They're both LEDs. I don't know, but this goes on top of my camera, and this one has worked out awesome, and it stays lit, you know, for a long time. I and mean, I filmed one light the whole time, of probably a good three hours at the Hauntville video. If you haven't seen the Hauntville video, link is below. Go check it out, guys. It was awesome. So I filmed that with this on top of my camera to get the lighting. So, yeah, I rely on these things. And what's cool is you can buy a bunch of them, and they all link together. You make one big block. So that's really cool. I don't know. I found that. I love those things. I'm gonna buy more. I'm gonna buy more. Let's just buy more. Yeah. All right, guys. We're here. I got twenty dollars in my pocket. It's not really. I guess you could call it that. It's probably really bad right now. In this. But we're going to Goodwill. We get Goodwill. We're gonna go to Goodwill and see if we can find some silly, silly. My friend. Let's go check us out. I don't know. Let's see what we can find in here. Who knows? Find something really, really crazy. Maybe I should get this. That. Guys, I think I found it. Look at this thing. What is this? It's actually pretty cool. It's not, it's just not weird enough. What about this? What is this? Close, but not quite. <laughs> what is this? It's a clock with, a, with some flowers or some tulips in it. Eh, that one's gonna be a maybe. That's a maybe. Maybe. Pick me. I want it. There's angry dangly arm. What? Dude, there's craziness going on over here. Ooh, craziness. Kids getting hurt. <laughs> okay, I think I found it. Christmas is coming, so why not get her a funny Christmas gift like that? Okay, so I just bought this gift. You can't see it, I can't show you what it is. I felt it's so lame that I almost felt lame buying the damn thing. It's hilarious. It's really, really lame, guys. It's funny. I think it'll work. <laughs> it's just too stupid. On the other hand, what I did see inside there were books, like real good books, actually. And I'm like, you know what? There's a whole self help section. And I'm like, you know what? I want my self help book, my seven days of redefining your life book, to be at Goodwill. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go drop a couple off in the back just so that they're on the shelf so that someone in Goodwill can pick up my book and maybe it'll do something for their life. I think the books that are on the shelves, maybe they worked for someone or they didn't. Cause see me personally, when you got a good book, you keep it. So maybe those books just didn't help anybody. But I'm gonna plant my book in Goodwill. Who knows, maybe I'll put something special in it so that when someone buys it, they're reading it and they go, oh my gosh, it's my lucky day. Here's 20 bucks inside my book. I don't know, I think they go through the books. That would suck. I'd love to put some money in a book, like hide inside a book, and then someone would go through the book and be like, holy cow. I don't know. Or maybe just a nice note that says, you're appreciated, you know? So now we're gonna drive back way. I don't know which way I'm going. Okay, when I was a kid, we shopped at Goodwill. Like, we didn't have no money. We didn't have things. And this person's just gonna sit here. 
All right, so I'm gonna go, I guess, because they don't know what they're doing. People don't know how to drive, walk faster, do something, get across the street, please. I try to get out of here. I think Goodwill was way better back in the 90s because, well, probably awesome in the 80s, but I'm saying it's good in the 90s because then you'd go in there and you'd find some cool 80s toys. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, there's some G.I. Joe's missing legs. Occasionally you might find a really gem of a G.I. Joe that, you know, all together they bundled them together like here's six gi joes and a you know fort you know you find some he-man toys those were sweet now you find stuff that rarely well i found some stuff from the 90s like vhs tapes and stuff like that and cassette tapes and i don't know but there's not it's all new and the new stuff just isn't so cool when you see it and it's old it's just kind of stupid when you buy something from somewhere especially like a thrift store or goodwill you want to contribute. You want to give back. You got to keep the cycle going. Otherwise, the store is going to be empty. There's plenty of stuff to give away, guys. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling up here, and I'm going to give some stuff away. Let's go give some stuff away. Look at this moving mirror. It's a moving mirror, guys. It's a moving mirror. It moves in the wind. It's a moving mirror. I'm pulling up my car. I get to hit the little dinger. Ding, ding. Look at this. Bing, bing. Look at this, guys. Boom. I'm there. Going. Good, how you doing? Good. Giving that away. I'm vlogging. You ever go on YouTube? No. No, you don't go on YouTube? You gotta go on YouTube. It's yeah, awesome. No, we're good. Thank you. Have a good one. I wouldn't expect anybody who works at Goodwill to understand what YouTube is because they think they're all in the past. Nothing against people that work at Goodwill. It's just... Um, most of the people in my area that I meet, they're not like, oh, hey, uh, what's up, welcome to Goodwill. They're like, people that I, I don't know where they come from, like, from another world, another planet. I think they're aliens, guys. Like, that guy was like, YouTube? No. What's that? No, do you, do you all concerned, do you want a receipt? Thank you. Like, that's cool, let's, let's have some fun. Like, go on YouTube check out videos subscribe to a few people just even just get one subscription to one person then you're with the new world you're with today's technology you know just subscribe to one person put one video up just one just one even if it's just you saying i don't go on youtube what is this just one that's funny because oh dude you know what this one lame toy it's not even a toy it was a it was a stupid like christmas ornament that someone got rid of it was one lame thing and i'm like yeah, I like to get, I'm thinking, okay, I'm at Goodwill, guys. Like, seriously, I'm at Goodwill. I'm going to get this item and that item. Like, boom, no problem. Two bucks max. The one item was like eight bucks. I'm like, are you serious? Like, someone really wants this? Come on. Eight dollars. So I was like, nah. So I only got one item, and the one item I got was actually really funny. And it actually was well-priced. It was three dollars. Come on, guys. Goodwill stepping up their prices, their game, they're getting with it. Because you know what it is? They got better products. I'm going to drop off a car there. I'm just like, pull it into the showroom and park it on the floor. Put all the, the you know, the used underwear and the dresses and the toys around it. Let the kids bounce off of this thing until someone says, oh, I want that car. And it's not going to be like $25,000. be like, how much is the car? 50 cents. Just going to buy your own gas. I'm going home, and I'm going to do some yoga. I need yoga today. I did Insanity yesterday, and guys, it really, really made me sore. Um, oh, man, I just got to get back into it. I've, I've just not been doing my workouts as much as I used to, you know, because I've been with the baby, and I've been, you know, dead life. I've been editing videos, and it's crazy, but I got to get back into the routine and make it a must, because you know what? I need to do what I used to do and what I used to teach, and that was... You know, you don't have any time in your day. All these parents are like, man, I don't have enough time. There's not enough time for me to work out. There's not enough time for me to do this and that or enjoy myself, or take time to myself. And then I would look at them like, well, you know what? What happens when, you know, little Billy or Jenny, you know, your your daughter, your son, and they, they pick up an extra football game or a soccer game or some other extra sport. Now all of a sudden, what? You got a whole hour and 40 minutes or an hour or 30 minutes, whatever it is for practice. Now all of a sudden you got that time that you made happen because they got to be at their sport. So why can't you just say, I'm going to get 10 minutes, 45 minutes, and I'm going to dedicate it to myself to work out or to myself to read a book, to enjoy my life. Like what? Like, come on, let's do it. You know, so take that little bit of time. Like you can do it. And me, especially like right now, because I do videos and I edit, I spend a lot of time editing and I literally need like five hours plus just to get anything done because 
you know, when you're editing, it's like time flies by. So, you know, I'm like, oh man, so what I do is I'll edit for like two and a half hours and then I'll go right into my workout. You know, and there's no excuses now because, you know, Sean T's got a 20 minute workout. Bob Harper's got a 10 minute workout. 10 minutes. The hardest 10 minutes of your life and it will push you and you get to build muscle so you know do your big workouts throughout the week and in the days that you can't pack one in do five minutes come on get fit everybody man i you know i pulled up at this red light a little bit ago and someone's smoking and i could smell it in my car my windows are up and i'm like god like and then i just look over at the person i'm like you know, if you smoke, like, why do you smoke? Like, I just look at it like, now I'm not saying that, oh, I'm perfect. I used to smoke back in the back in the day when, you know, I was street, when I was hood, and I didn't really care about my life or anything like that. Like, yeah, that's my mentality. So I wonder, like, people who smoke, like, do you guys, like, do they just, like, not care about their bodies? Do they not care about their life? Like, are you that stressed out? Does it really make you that feel that better? I don't get it. Like, all my friends, they don't, none of my friends smoke. Like, we're all really, really healthy. We all exercise. We all get fit. And it's like, put down the cigarette. Like, breathe some fresh air, for God's sakes. Stop polluting mine. I don't know. Like, I really, first of all, I'm allergic to cigarette smoke now. I think it's because I used to smoke a little bit. I played with a little bit and a little bit of cigars. And I think it just messed me up. I don't know. When I'm around someone who smokes, I get swollen. I got to go to the doctors. You know, it's like really bad. So it's like, I try to stay away from people who smoke. And like I said, I'm not, I don't, I don't hate you if you smoke. I'm just saying like, why? Like, maybe you can break that habit this, this year. Maybe for New Year's, you could say, I'm gonna start this whole year. I'm gonna say, let me just go a day at a time, a week at a time, a month at a time, and then a year at a time and stop smoking, you know? And all the other stuff, use the patches. Dude, cold turkey that. And what I mean by cold turkey that, stop smoking, start drinking lots of water eat healthier foods and exercise hardcore that's how you break that habit because your body's gonna fiend for that stuff and if you start working out you start flushing out with the waters and the alkaline foods and you know what a healthy exercise that lets you sweat out the toxins and it cleans your mind and your body do some yoga man you're not gonna go through those cravings as hard and you're gonna say you know what I'm so glad I gave this up I'm so glad I feel so good. And it's also your mentality. Change your mind. Like get up every day and say, you know what? I love my body. I love my life. My life is awesome. And I'm not going to put this chemical in my body. I'm not going to disrespect it. I'm not going to destroy my life because this little thing here that I bring in my mouth that I destroy my lungs with. You know what I'm saying? That's my little sitting on a drugs rant. <laughs> okay? Smoking's not cool. You know, I used to think, you know, when I was a kid, and that's why, you know, I started because it's like, oh man, it looks so cool with a cigar hanging out my mouth, standing on the corner of the street in the club. What? <laughs> you know? Man, I've grown so much, guys. I have. I've come a long way. And I'm just so excited that my life is the way it is because it's like I've changed my state of mind. I said, I'm going to stop the smoking. I'm going to stop hanging out with these type of people. I'm going to stop, you know, listening to this type of music or letting this music corrupt me instead of just enjoy the music and for what it is and not what I think I want to make it my life, you know. Um, I'm going to stop talking the way I talk. I'm going to stop thinking the the way that the world is so bad. And I don't know. That's that's that. I mean, but you know what, guys? Honestly, I got out of the coaching industry. I really loved it. But I became a life coach because I didn't choose to. It just fell into my lap. Like, I changed my life. And I started getting this, this high, this energy off of helping other people do change theirs or telling my story. And that was so awesome. And then I evolved and evolved. And finally, I found my place. And I was like, oh, man. So it's like. I got out of the coaching industry because you know it's just really competitive actually it's like come on we can all work together we can do our thing we can help all these people at the same time we can share events you know I had you know just all this types of stuff going on and I was doing so great but then I was like you know what alright that's cool that's a chapter of my life let's move on let's grow from here and let's do something that I want to do and I wanted to do all that but it was really it was like wearing on me I don't want to go around teaching people and preaching to people on how to live their life I just just live it already just do it I actually want to just hang out with people that are actually doing something living their life and loving it and that's what I want to talk about it. I want to just do it there's, there's enough talking let's just let's just do it let's enjoy our lives you know and so that's the type of stuff that I'm into that's what I'm about 
anyways, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. Go do some yoga. Um, thank you for coming along, guys. And I'm so happy that I'm vlogging again. I'm really, really excited because I got this camera. I'm really digging the camera, so yeah check out the review it's really awesome not really i don't know i just tried but that's that all right peace guys i got the lamest gift you gotta see this like it's the stupidest gift in the world i felt lame buying it <gasps> what the oh, oh see i came in too quick you can't do that I came in too fast. I was like, oh, she's not ready for all that energy yet. Oh my gosh. She came, I came in too quick, guys. Oh. Hey, hey. Did daddy, did daddy come in too quick? Oh. Have you been crying? Mommy says you were crying. So I didn't scare you, did I? It just seemed like I did, huh? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, guys. I'm upset. I don't know why. But my, my little giraffe loves you. Oh. Oh. to the baby. See, there you go. So you just got done eating, huh? You have a tummy ache, maybe? Aww. Dead life. I love that new baby smell. You're still a new baby. You still smell really good. Oh, look at her. She just wants her daddy, huh? You miss me, huh? I was gone a little bit. I was gone a little too long. It's all good. But mommy's been home. And when mommy's gone too long, you just want your mommy. <laughs> so this, seriously, oh, I'm rocking. I'm making you guys dizzy. I'm making you dizzy. Yes. We do yoga together, don't we? She does the happy baby. Yep, happy baby. Well, um, my house is a mess. I gotta clean it and uh, do my yoga and show my wife this stupid gift. You guys gotta stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting the vlog on me giving this gift to my friend. All right, guys, this is what I got my friend, and you will be able to see what this is in the video to come. So be sure to subscribe. This thing is hilariously stupid. <laughs>